Hey, Siobhan Moran here, Driving for Your Success. And I wanna talk about something that happened to me the other weekend when I was speaking at an event. And the energy was kind of funky at the event, but a bunch of very motivated entrepreneurs, and it was fun. And when I got off the stage, I was mobbed by a whole bunch of questions, we gave books, we did book signings, etc. And the thing that happened was this uh, gentleman came up to me and he said, you know, you really need to do better with your speech. You really need to do better with your talk because if you did this and this and this, you know, it seemed like you're really not, you know, owning your success. And he said, and he just kept going. And, and so I just stopped and I said, you know, I appreciate that. I, you know, it's been a while so that I've had somebody, you know, talk to me about this kind of thing. And, you know, we do very well in our business. And he said, well, you could do much, much better. And I said, well, let me ask you a few questions. And so I started, you know, doing what I do, being very direct and asking him, well, what was it that he thought I wasn't owning? Because I talked about, you know, the thousands of people I worked with and, you know, helping uh, multimillionaires get uh, bigger in their success and their business and their health and their relationships. I helped somebody who is a billionaire, you know, on and on. And, you know, I had, you know, 10 or so minutes to do this and, you know, not a lot of time. And he said, well, you're just not owning the level of success that you have. So we bantered back and forth. And the fascinating thing was he didn't come up to me and say, hey, you know, love to talk to you about what you're up to. Love to know a little bit more um, about how you go out there and share your message. And if there's anything I can do, I'd love to just have a dialogue about it. And, you know, he really just came at me. He was directed at me and telling me what I was doing wrong. There are a lot of people who tell you what you're doing wrong. And, you know, the fascinating thing is whether we speak it out loud or we keep it inside and we're judging others for doing something wrong. Uh, I, there's a much more elegant way to have that conversation with the person. So I asked him a ton of questions. Um, I think he may have felt like I was interrogating him, but you know, tit for tat. And I really wanted to know what his true perspective was. And the fascinating thing that I took away because I honored him, I said, thank you. And I heard him turn around, walk away and say, oh, oh. Oh, like that. And the really sad part is he didn't grasp that I really thought that he was being of value. Even though he, he came at me with a wrongness, I really took it as value. So be aware of how you're approaching people and be a lot more respectful because there are so many treasures you can give to somebody and they can give to you through respect. So try it on for size, see how it feels, and uh, join me at SiobhanMoran.com or you can actually text to this number 949-214-4294 and text the word secret. And you put in your name and your email address and we send you a book, yes, a book, and uh, we also send you a calendar if you want to schedule a time to chat. So I hope to chat with you. And if not, then put your comments below, share this message. And until then, driving for your success. Have an awesome day.